Hey guys, it's Erica, and I'm so excited because I'm on set today with professional makeup artist Christine Bernard, who's worked on hit shows like The Voice and one of my favorite shows, Shark Tank. She's also a local 706 member, which if you didn't know, is the union to be in if you're a professional makeup artist in LA. Thank you so much for joining me, Christine. Thanks for having me. So today I'm on set, so let's find out 10 things we didn't know about Christine Bernard. So what inspired you to become a makeup artist and can you remember your very first job? Well, I used to do my friends makeup all the time and then one of my friends was a counter manager at Prescriptive. So I lived in Oregon. You know, I moved to LA and then my career just started blossoming. I ended up reaching out and talking to people and developing relationships and I just flourished from there. My first job when I went 100% freelance was Keisha Whitaker for the SAG Awards in 2006. Well, that can't be too tough because she's gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Liquid, gel, or eyeliner pencil? Definitely gel. It's forgiving. You know, you can press it in along the lash line for a really skinny look that doesn't bleed up, or you can create a winged line. But ultimately, gel is for sure my first go-to. I can't leave the house without... Moisturizer, lip balm, and probably mascara. What's your favorite product to use for touch-ups? The Blotterazzi Pro, mm -hmm. love that. RCMA No Color Powder is a must. And Jouer Lip Enhancers. You know, it freshens the lip, it gives it light without adding a bunch of gloss. What was your proudest moment as a makeup artist? My proudest moment had to be when I worked with Mary J. Blige. As a woman, she's very inspiring and her face is simply regal. It, I almost wanted to cry while I was doing makeup because it's, it's something about her energy and her beautiful skin and her bone structure is just a makeup artist's dream. Okay, so this is a hard one. If you could only bring five things from your makeup kit to work, what would they be? Moisturizer, cream blush, lip balm, brow pencil, and mascara. The cream blush could also kind of go for the lips a little bit. Exactly. And can work it out. Yeah. <laughs> was there someone that inspired you to become a professional makeup artist? Yes, my really good friend, Therese Willis. I worked with her at MAC. She was always pushing me because I was scared. Mm -hmm. And she was always pushing me to do the next thing. I assisted her when she first started going freelance and she would always call me and we worked on the Pussycat Dolls. We worked on tons of Dave Meyers music videos, like really epic, amazing videos. And she was just always so assertive and she just pushed me outside of my boundaries. As a professional makeup artist, what unique advice can you give to aspiring makeup artists? I personally like people to just feel really relaxed. Your brushes need to be soft and, you know, very clean. All those things are, to me, imperative. You're, you're working in such close proximity with someone. You're very close to their face. Exactly. You know, you can definitely feel another person's energy, like especially as a makeup artist. If you guys have rough days, you might have been working on set the day before. However you need to do that you know, to get centered, that's what you have to do. So if you could work with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? I'd say Michelle Obama. I mean, she's beautiful to me. No, and she's gorgeous and she's yeah. just, she seems, she seems like she's and actually she just seems fun. fun. Yeah, it's like you want to hang out with her. There's not many first ladies. You're like, I want to hang out with yeah, you. Yeah, no. <laughs> she's definitely one to hang out with. So last and final question, who would you like to see us interview next? You know, there's a makeup artist that I've been following on Instagram, and his name is Nikki Posley. And he does really beautiful work, and it's really, like, seamless and gorgeous. And I'd like to know more about him. Nikki, we got to find you. Where you at, Nikki? Thanks for watching this. I hope you guys learned a lot from professional makeup artist Christine Bernard, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.